When you're the world's greatest supervillain, you have one goal. That is to be the best at being bad. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I have accepted a new job. Whoa, really? Yes, I have been recruited by a top secret agency to go undercover and save the world. I like to describe Gru as a man with a heart of bronze. It's not gold, but it's pretty good. You know, it's, uh, he tries very hard. Bumpy. He's still despicable, but there are absolutely good and warm, pleasant traits to him. I know what makes you a boy. Do you do? Your bald head. Oh, yes. Sometimes I stare at it and imagine a little cheek popping out. Beep, beep, beep. Good night, Agnes. Never get older. People want to see where it left off. I mean, at the end of the first one, you're kind of wondering how it's going to work. You see Gru as a dad, you see them as a family unit, and then you see them evolve. Who are you texting? No one, just my friend Avery. Avery, a Avery. Is it a girl's name or a boy's name? Does it matter? No, no, it doesn't matter unless it's a boy. It seems honest in its depiction of parents and kids and how having kids completely changes a person's life in all the best ways. <laughs> Agnes, where is Gru? He's putting on lipstick. <laughs> He's swatting out flies. <laughs> He's chopping his head off. <laughs> He's pooping. It's really funny and, uh, and exciting <laughs> and very silly at times. <laughs> Hilarious. It's a really smart, sweet story. Are you really going to save the world? That's right, baby! Crew's back in the game with cool cars, gadgets, How was it working? and weapons! <laughs> and who doesn't love the minions? I mean, come on. Beedle, beedle.